What's up everyone out there? My name's Rudy and welcome to Children of a Dead Earth Gunship Redesign Part 2. In Part 1, I redesigned the gunship to be more effective. If you would like to check that out, there is a link in the description. In this part, Part 2, we will be testing the gunship against the WAPO Advanced Class ship. We have two philosophies of ship design competing here. The WAPO A was designed to be small and expendable. It operates in fleets of many, many ships, each one acting as a redundancy for the others, whereas a gunship Mark II is a ship designed to operate on its own with all of its own redundancies featuring many reactors and various crew modules spread throughout the length of the ship. So we will see how the gunship Mark II fares. All right, so we've determined that we can defeat an enemy gunship. What about the WAPO Advanced Class ship? Yes, the 666 decimeter of decimation ship. So if we throw in seven WAPOs, 241 MC, versus our 260 MC gunship, we're about even in cost and mass. Let us see how we fare against a fleet of smaller, redundant ships. We're orienting towards the enemy. Our guns are getting a bead, and we're taking fire. The enemy is able to fire much sooner at us because we have a larger cross-section, so their weapons are much more effective at range. And now we are in range and retaliating. That does not sound good. Those creaking sounds are not what you want to hear. An enemy ship taking damage. They've been taken out. Oh my god, we've been split in half. This section of the ship is still intact though and functioning. Unfortunately, we have no weapons. Oh my god. And there goes the enemy formation, thinking they're so clever. They destroyed my new fancy ship. Yeah, good for them. Well, hey, I designed those ships as well, so... Um... That is beautiful space wreckage. One ring to rule them all. And in the darkness, bind them. Okay, yeah, the boron carbide was fun. Let's replace it with boron. Just to see what if. What, what wonders are we missing by not using boron? Boron, that wonderful miracle material. So now we're down to 177 MC. Much cheaper. I'm actually going to add an extra railgun. Because I believe the stock gunship has three... Or an extra coil gun. And I think I'll just throw it towards the middle of the ship, how about? Just for the hell of it. I'm not sure it necessarily makes sense to keep all my weapons on the front of the ship, because my ship sort of ends up rotating fully towards the enemy anyway. So I'm just going to move some more weapons midship and see how that works out. Okay, the gunship Mark II. I will still go up against seven WAPOs, even though they now outnumber me cost-wise. I think it's only fair to see how one gunship fares against seven WAPOs, since that was the original challenge. Orient broadside. Give them a broadside. And again, we can't fire. I mean, I could ignore range on my weapons to fire at the enemy, but... Alright, yeah, see, since I moved more weapons towards the rear of the ship, the enemy is actually concentrating more on the back of my ship. Which means my engines are more likely to be destroyed. That's what it seems like, anyway. Let's disable those railguns. Let's disable the lasers, so more energy is given to the uh, conventional weapons. You know, I really probably could stand to add another reactor onto this ship to ensure that all my weapons have the 
electricity they need. You know, I never actually bothered to calculate the full power draw of all my weapons firing simultaneously, but I should probably do that and add on more reactors to, uh, you know, allow for it. I mean, because each reactor is only five tons. It's not that big of a deal. We're taking out more of the enemy. There they come flying over us or under us. I don't know which one. I don't know what the hell it is. That is really close. So close you can hear the beeping. And they're getting the, re the bottom of our ship, hitting the, the vital radiators we're trying to rotate to bring our last few gun systems to bear. Our engine survived, that's good. That's very good news. And we're retaliating. Two more enemy gunships left. Man, they're, they're sustaining so much firepower. They're still in the fight. Wow, well that was a good fight. Man, look at that, our entire, our sides have been ripped open. We lost two crew modules in sort of the rear midship. Our reactors are still, we lost one of our reactors. And two of the enemy ships remain. They're on a ballistic trajectory out of the system, though. I kind of wish it weren't so, because I want to see how this fight would have turned out if we were to come back at them. Well, we'll have to go back to port for some significant repairs. My name is Rudy, and this was Gunship Redesign. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.